Once upon a time, high in the highest tower of the faraway city of Glickenglocken, there was a wonderful clock. The numbers on its face were inlaid with precious jewels, and its hands were carved of purest ivory. And to mark every hour, one silver cock crowed. Two brass trumpeters came out and played. And a little golden angel sang. Dawn is here, time won't wait. The sun is rising in the heaven. Start the day, be not late. The hour is seven, it is seven. The people of Glickenglocken were very proud of their wonderful clock. So proud were they that no one in the city had a clock or watch of his own. Across the river from Glickenglocken stood the ugly city of Dumburg. Now the wicked king of Dumburg had always wanted to conquer Glickenglocken, but he was afraid to attack. Suddenly the king cried, Hmm, I have it. I'll stop their big clock, and without watches or clocks of their own, they won't be able to tell the time. Everything will be thrown into confusion, then I will strike. So the wicked king of Dumburg sent his boldest henchman into Glickenglocken to stop the clock. Slyly, the henchman crept close to the tower, just as the clock was about to strike. The hands of the wonderful clock pointed to three as he tiptoed up the steps. Quietly, he took a big hammer from under his cloak. Listen all, hear the shout of children running fast and free. School is out, school is out, the hour is three, the hour is... The clock was stopped. Yes, the big clock was stopped. Its hands pointed to three and moved no more. Then, just as the wicked king of Dumburg had planned, all over the city of Glickenglocken there was terrible confusion. What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? Should we work? Should we work? Or should we stop? Or should we stop? Should we open up the door to close the every shop? The wicked king brought his army to a high ridge just across the river, and there behind the hill they waited while things in Glickenglocken grew more and more confused. Is it late? Is it early? Goodness, what a hurly burly. Is it early? Is it late? What's the hour? What's the date? Maybe it is time for bed. Get up quick and work instead. What has happened to our town? The wicked king cried, Now is the time! Over the bridge and Glickenglocken will be ours! Swiftly his soldiers advanced toward Glickenglocken, and just as they reached the middle of the bridge, everyone stopped. They looked up. Hear me well. wonderful clock is magical. Yes, Captain, and the magic has saved our city. To the bridge, man! The soldiers of Glickenglocken rushed to the bridge and drove the wicked king and his army back into Dumburg. And to this day, if you visit the faraway city of Glickenglocken, high in the highest tower, you will see their wonderful clock. Its hands still point to three, but every hour, by some strange magic, the one silver cock crows. Two brass trumpeters come out. And the little golden angel sings. Seconds fly, minutes flow, and hours into days and years swirl. Time speeds by, all should know that time is precious 